The debate over the bathroom bill comes to a head today as lawmakers hold their first committee hearing on this controversial issue. Fox 7's Jacqueline Sarkeesian joins us live from the Capitol with more. Morning, Jacqueline. Good morning, Dave. That first hearing starts in just about an hour. You can see behind me the Capitol just opened a few minutes ago. People are already lined up waiting to get inside. I'm told hundreds of people are expected to fill the halls of the Capitol where the hearing will begin. Now, if the bathroom bill does in fact pass, many event organizers say they won't be coming to Texas and that could cost Austin more than $100 million next year. So far, 23 groups have promised they will no longer do business with with the city if that happens. The Senate bill would force people to go by the gender on their birth certificate when using bathrooms, locker rooms and showers in state buildings, public schools and universities. But it would allow businesses to make and set their own bathroom policies. Texas business leaders say the state's economy will take a huge hit if the measure becomes law. As of now, 23 groups have reached out to Austin saying they will no longer hold events here if it passes. Despite all the warnings, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is pushing forward with the proposal. He stood with the coalition of church leaders as well as with the lieutenant governor of North Carolina where a similar bill passed. That most extreme impact equates to one tenth of one percent of our annual GDP. That's the economic impact. One tenth of one percent of our annual GDP. No businesses left North Carolina. No businesses left. I think they need to trash the SB6, and uh, it's going to harm us. It's going to harm our economy. It is a very vicious attack on transgender people, and that's basically what they're doing. It isn't legislation to protect people. It's an attack on people's rights. Again, today's hearing starts at 8 this morning. Hundreds of people will be here. They also plan to testify. And if they do testify, each person only has two minutes. I just spoke with someone opposing SB6. They say there will be a rally at 1130 this morning. Back to you in the studio. All right, Jacqueline, thank you very much.